why are cells so small, Chris? <laughs> An idea. Why would they be so small? It totally can be wrong, just an idea. Because if they're big, then there'd be everything would be, I don't know. Keep, keep <laughs> going. Explain. If they were big, then everything would be? Like, huge. Okay. Everything would be big if they weren't small. So, like, if cells were big, I would just be like a big cell, or maybe like five big cells, or something like that. Just like this blob of cell. Okay. 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 Like, let's say if you like cut yourself, it'd be harder to like, it'd be harder to heal because it, one big cell would be like, it wouldn't heal as fast. Okay. Um, Devin. Um, well, like in your body, you have lots of different types of cells. Mm. So if they weren't small, like, they would help you with a bit. <coughs> yeah, okay. So we have different types. And they need space. Yeah. Okay, so that, that's a good idea, because like, okay, I have eyes, well, they're made of eye cells. I have bones, they're made of bone cells. If every bone cell was giant, like I would just have this giant bone, and then <coughs> this giant muscle cell over top of it, that would be kind of difficult, right? Yeah, and so I would be like ginormous, maybe, if all my cells were really big, okay? Um, Michaela, do you have any other ideas to add? Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, like, if you get you get an infection in one spot, say on your hand, you don't the infection doesn't spread ev everywhere. Oh. Okay. Good. Um, so maybe like contains infection easily? Yeah, okay. Or doesn't spread easily. Okay. All right. So there's one there's a there's one like really big topic that I want us to get to. Uh, Tara, any ideas? Say what? There's a lot of them. Okay, we need to have a lot of them. Yeah. Okay. Um, what's our quiz on tomorrow? What's the topic? Cells. Transport. Okay. So go ahead, Aiden. Okay. Exchange materials efficiently. or something. I want you to think about this before I lecture about it. So, okay. You guys are getting there. Your ideas are really good. Okay? Okay. So say I got my cell. This is kind of bad. But what does this look like? Goldie. Goldie, yeah. A bit of a fail of a Goldie, but okay. Um, now let's say I 
draw a small cell over here just to compare. And let's say that's my Golgi as well. Okay. So say this is my what? Vesicle, yeah. Say it needs to transport to this side of the cell and it's gonna it's gonna exocytosis, right? Release the vesicle. So so what's the difference? Yeah, okay, yeah. So with a bigger cell, what we think about, the way the terminology that we use to explain this phenomenon is a surface area to volume ratio. Okay? This cell has a lot more surface area to volume compared to this cell, has a lot bigger volume, okay? So we're going to compare surface area to volume. Who was, Chris? I don't even notice. Was he leaning back? I don't trust you, you lean back too. So, so. Riley, was he leaning back? You guys just don't rat on, won't want to rat on each other. Okay, that's that's a warning. No, I didn't actually see. I don't know. So okay, so. Yeah. All right. Watching. Always watching. Okay. So what we're going to do is compare the surface area to volume ratios of cells to understand why they are so small. And you guys have some great ideas about why they need to be small. Okay, Arvin, are you ready to use your chair responsibly? Yeah, my knees are Okay, you can have your chair back, but you can't lean back anymore. Yeah. Josh will let me know if you do. <laughs> I will. Yeah, there's, there's chairs leaning back already. <laughs> okay. So let's say we take, say, say we have this size of cell, and then say what if the same amount of area would be a whole bunch of little cells. This situation is much more efficient at transporting materials than this situation, okay? You guys have already kind of brainstormed that idea. So because cells want to exchange material efficiently, right, they need to be a certain size. So a large cell So a large cell will have a large volume area comparatively, which means that particles will need to be transported across a small surface, but they have to go through a lot of volume. <clears throat> comparatively, am I going too fast? There's, 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 pause. There, there's okay. two equals. Yeah, I know, that's silly. You just make one big Yeah, one big equals, I got two there. So if we compared the small cell, comparatively, it would have a small volume compared to a large, I wanted to use blue for surface area, to a large surface area. Which means particles will need to be transported across a large surface area. So this situation is more efficient.
Now, I forgot to put in like a, an explanation in this one table here. This, this box should say length of one side of Q. Okay? So just a length of a cube. Okay? All sides are equal in a cube. Um, also, so let's let's pick a unit to use because I forgot to put that here as well. Um, so generally, if we're talking about cells and how big they are, they're really small. Often we deal in micrometers. So let's say this cell is one micrometer. So it looks micro is represented with like a U, but on the one side of the U there's another line. So it's one so it's micrometer. Like really bad. Yeah. And this is five micrometers. And then this is like saying, say if we had one, like if we had a, um, cubes that were all one micrometer, we had 125 of them all stacked together. So it would be like, you know, lots of little cubes all together. 125 of them. So five, this is kind of one larger cube, and then this is a smallish cube, okay? So, we'll have to do just a, a, a minor amount of math here. What is the formula for surface area of a cube. Do you guys know? Pardon? No, that's that's well, just the, area. Surface but, area. You, like you could use... You add up all the sides. Yes. Yeah. So times six? I was right. You said times by the amount of cells. Six and the uh, one side squared because it's like you want to take the surface, the area, so it's like, okay. If I think about a cube, I want to take the surface area, so, so it's like figure out how much area is on the surface of that cube. I have to go the side times by the side, right? So that's the, that's the A squared part, and then you do that six times. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay, sure, yeah. That's what I was getting. Oh, okay. All right. Six A. So A representing a side. Oh, okay. Do you guys want to use a different letter? Oh, that was not a cube. Pardon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I just picked A for a side of a cube. Um, how do we do a volume of a cube? Width, yeah. And so if it's a cube, we know that the side is the same on every side. So we can just go A cubed. But that's the same as length times width times height. Yeah, you guys are right. It's just that with a cube, you know that it's the same. Okay. Now, when you go surface area to volume ratio, that's like going S A and then a colon and then a V. Or you could represent it as S A divided by V. So it's like saying I'm comparing surface area to volume. Okay, so it's a comparison. So comparisons are fractions, right? So you need to represent it like a fraction. So let's do a little bit of math to prove what we were just saying about efficiency. Okay? So if I'm finding the surface area of a cube that's one by one by one. So that's six times one squared. What does that equal? Six indeed, yes. So six micrometers. So six times one squared, six micrometers, okay? Um, now the volume, so we go one Q 
cubed is equal to what? One times one times one? One. Very good. So then, our surface area to volume ratio, we write it like this. We can say one or six micrometers to every one micrometers, or we can just go six divided by one is equal to six. So both of these are correct answers. So with that six, like when you divide by is that like uh, six micrometers? No, because, um, I'll explain. I'll just back up a moment. So it would be like six micrometers divided by six yeah. micrometers. So it's like the micrometers cross off, and you're just left with six. <coughs> yeah. Good question. Because it's volume, would you have to do like one? Oh, I guess that would make sense, wouldn't it? Because when you're doing units for that, you would put a cube there. Is that right? I think, I think so. Like for the units? Yeah, you guys are right. So let's put a cube there, and we put a square there, right? So then would they still cancel off? So it would be six times one, is that what it is? Yeah, you're right. So I'll have one. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, but six times one is six. Six to the power of one? What? What? Never mind. But it's... I don't know. What are you guys talking about? No, because this is still micrometers, and so it's still the micrometer square. Yeah. Well, you guys are right, but for this purposes... We'll just leave it like this, if that's okay. But I, I validate what you are saying, okay? But really what I just want you to see is the number comparison with this, but you guys are right, okay? So let's say now we compare a bigger cell, okay? So this is a larger cell. So if I have then six times five micrometers squared, what will that equal? Six times 150, yeah. So 150 micrometers squared. <coughs> I'll just write it down below a little bigger. 150 micrometers. Okay. Then let's do the volume. So we take 5 to the power of 3 is equal to what? 125 micrometers cubed. Oops, not centimeters. Yes, okay. So now we can compare and we can go 150 compared to or colon 125. So you can simplify that. You can simplify that um, and say this is 6 to 5. And again, I just want you to see the, the numbers so we won't include our units, make it less complicated. Um, or I said you can just take the surface area divided by the volume, so you can go 150 divided by 125, or 6 divided by 5. Same thing. So what's that? 1.2, right? So that is also um, a valid answer. So when we look at this, we have already, let's just analyze the difference between our tiny cell and our big cell. So our big cell had 6 to 1, 
per surface area to volume. This one has six to five. That's, that's pretty significant. So this one, there's way more volume than this one. Yeah, so this is less efficient. It's better to have more surface area than volume because you can transport materials much more quickly through the cell and you have more space. Because when you think about it, the cell membrane, that's where you transport stuff. So you want more cell membrane. And cell membrane is like what's on the surface. Okay. All right, so let's say we have a whole bunch of little tiny cubes. So what we do, we already know the surface area of one of these tiny cubes. So we just times it by 125. So 6 micrometers times by 125, oh, micrometers squared, sorry. So it's like saying we have a lot of these cubes, so we times by 125. So what is it, 750? Six times 125? You got six squared right there. No, just the units are squared. So it should be six times 125, and the answer should be squared. The answer, the units are squared, yes. So you say the answer is 750 micrometers squared, because the unit is with, or the squared is with the unit here. Does that make sense? Yeah, I just, I thought you wrote that. No, nope, that's a good squared. clarification. Okay, and then what would be the volume? So we take 120, or, uh, yeah, uh, no. We take the volume of one, so that's one micrometer cube, times by 125. That will be, yeah, 125 micrometers cubed. So then comparatively, we can say that's going... So we want to compare surface area to volume. So surface area, 750 to 125. We can simplify that to um, 6 to 1. Or you can just go, so this is a final answer. Or you can just go 750 divided by 125, which is 6. Look, that makes sense because that was our surface area to volume ratio for that size of a cube. So that's cool. So if we have a lot of tiny cubes, that's more efficient than getting a bigger cube. So that's the reason why cells are so small. So all of your reasons that you guys brainstormed were good. This explains your answers. Why you said like it's, it's easier or it's more efficient to do this, or it's like you contain the infection and things like that. That explains, the, or this explains why physically the cells are so small.